Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing the QQQs. So we got down today, Friday, and it's interesting because, again, it is summer. It's June 14th. Uh, it's not earnings season until July. It's kind of felt like summer doldrums today because for a long, long, long time today, the market really seemed to go nowhere. Try to break lower, couldn't do it. Try to go higher, couldn't do it. I really feel like this day here, particularly in the market, actually, let me move this back, I'm sorry, um, really went nowhere. I mean, if you look at where we opened, we opened at 182.44, and guess where we closed? 182.57. So if you look at the particular difference between the close and the open today in the market, it was 13 cents. In the market? I mean, you know. And look at the volume. See the V in the square in the top in the left-hand corner, three down, 22843749. So in an overall full-on trading day with that kind of volume, the market... I mean, I'm not talking about the range. The high was 183.11 and the low was 181.94, but even that is a small trading day for the market. But I'm just talking about the difference between the close and the open. The difference between the close and the open in the market today was negligible and it's basically neutral. So really no read on this here at this moment today. And it felt like the market just couldn't get any, uh, it just couldn't get any energy under it. That's the best way that I could possibly describe it. It was like the market felt dead today, okay? Market felt absolutely dead, as, as if it was a holiday, quite frankly, and it's not a holiday. It's June 14th. It's just a Friday. This is not a holiday. It's not July 4th. It's not Memorial Day weekend. Um, and I know it's Father's Day weekend, but the reality is that it was not a national holiday and the market felt completely dead today, okay? But then you look at the volume, Again, so the market was not dead. You know what I'm saying? So it'll be very interesting to see where we go next week. Uh, specifically Monday. So between now and Monday, I will be very strict and very focused to see where we gap. But there wasn't a lot of read in the market today. If you went long, you really didn't make any money. If you went short, you really didn't make any money. Basically today was a break-even day. And when you look at the way that we trade in, again, I think it's very important to look for stock specific things in this market, but rest assured, the market is going to move. It's not going to stay in this tight, tight, tight range we've had for the last three, three trading days forever. It's not going to last all next week. And if it does, then the move after that will be even bigger than possibly expected. So this is Friday, this is Thursday, this is Wednesday. For the last three trading days solid, the QQQs have traded in a very tight range with small body bars with a lot of volume. And, uh, you know, that's that's something, I guess, what, what I'm trying to say is that's something to really notice because it's unusual. And even though it's Friday and it's summer and it's not earnings season, Wednesday was a normal trading day. Thursday was a normal trading day, okay? So, I mean, you know, three days solid. The market has been at tight, tight, tight range. Something's going to happen here, in my mind, coming up soon. It could be Monday. It could be in the next five trading days. So I'll be watching this to see exactly what the market does, particularly Monday morning. Again, anything can happen over a weekend. And I will be watching it. I'll be watching the news, and we will see what happens. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Have a great, relaxing weekend. Take your eyes off the charts. Take your eyes off the markets. See what happens. Come back ripe and refreshed Monday morning, and we'll see what we get. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great weekend, everyone.